good things have to come to an end, and this FA Cup run by Leighton Orient of League One, a little London club under the stewardship of Barry Hearn, was very much a good thing. Well, the one thing they needed to avoid, perhaps, Matt Jackson was going behind as early as the seventh minute. Yes, and they're a bit unfortunate in the build-up. We just felt after this goal went in, the quality of Arsenal was there to be seen all night. Good little break, good pace. Rizicki shows good endeavour to get on the edge of the box. Dangerous areas, have the best players in them and a good little finish. A goal that was needed from Shamak as he tucks the ball into that far corner. Yes, that was an important part of uh, his evening to end the drought going back to November. But it could have been 1-1 here. Charlie Daniels working hard to find an angle for a cross. It was a good cross too, that was Alex Revel. He was smashing all night. Daniels down the left-hand side in an attacking roll. Certainly got the crowd excited, they thought he'd scored. Just can't quite open his foot up enough to guide it past. Maybe should have just stayed within the post. Big chance. But Arsenal needing to make some of the right kind of headlines after what happened against the Birmingham in the Carling Cup final on Sunday. And the man whose name will be in the headlines is Nicholas Bentner. That's the first of his Arsenal hat-trick tonight. Lovely ball flighted in. He'd had his hand up for a long time. They looked reluctant to put the ball in there. You see him at the far post. Daniel's just a little bit side on. Makes it tough to jump. You don't really know where the man is. Lovely ball flight on that. Takes it past the goalkeeper. Good intent to score, though. Good leap. And this goal, like the previous one, really down to some extent with the Orient trying to play too much football, too deep. Bentner wasting no time as he sees possession to bury that for his second and Arsenal's third. Yes, it made a long night for the Orient from this point. Certainly when it's their own down, downfall, their own doing. Good finish, really good finish. Just whips the ball, wraps his foot around it. I like the fact that he never looks up, knows instinctively where the goal is. Tucks it right in the corner, no chance for the goalkeeper. And then in the second half we were wondering just how many goals we would have to count up. Arsenal did pick up a couple more, but they also squandered some chances. I can understand uh, a lack of incentive, certainly at this stage of the game. Diaby, who'd been on from the start, got through with a bit more purpose than some of the other attacks, but couldn't make the most of what he created for himself. No, and he's leggy and he runs on, but he takes a lovely touch, just moves the ball quickly in his feet. You see it right now, great little touch there. And at that point, you think it's a formality. Couldn't quite match the finish. Fourth goal came from the penalty spot. Kieran Gibbs getting it. Andrew Wing. Revel trying to help out, trying to help his right back out, but only hindering his side by giving Lee Mason the uh, proper reason to point for the spot. Definite penalty. It's just a weary, tired challenge. <laughs> you see him ended up about six foot away from the ball. A clear one. Lee Mason was excellent all night, gets another decision right. Bentner, given the penalty responsibilities, made the most of it, and he'll be taking home the match ball, as is the custom. Uh, all three good finishes from him, showed good confidence, wanted the penalty, tucks it away in the side netting. Great confidence from him, should be a lot more to come. of Nasri and Wilshire and Clichy on as a substitute as substitute. Arsenal really pepped it up and uh, we mentioned earlier that Clichy had only scored one. Make that now two for the club. The longest serving player here. Well he just drifts into the box at this point he wouldn't be expecting to get this with all those bodies in front of him. Could have been cleared three or four times. Great finish, and he's got some real quality in that left foot. Certainly, you will think goal scoring is easy when he gets that sort of chance. Buries it. Great, great strike. This is a lovely angle. Rising all the way. Possible for the goalkeeper. And uh, plenty of uh, special celebrations because it is a rarity, a cliche goal. Be wrong to say that Leighton Orient really enjoyed their experience at the Emirates tonight, but they uh, had a right go in the second half. And Dean Cox, no one, even Arsenal, wouldn't begrudge them 
a goal at the end of it. it would have been a, a lasting memory to take away, along with the, uh, the uh, hundreds of thousands of pounds that Leighton Orient have made from this cup run.